It is my pleasure now to introduce your commencement speaker for this evening, the world-renowned computer science engineer and pioneering researcher in wireless networks, Dr. Dina Katabi from MIT. Born and raised in Damascus, Syria, Katabi is now the Tuan and Nicole Pham Professor of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science at MIT. Her pioneering work at the intersection of computer science and electrical engineering has not only improved speed, reliability, and security of data exchange in Wi-Fi and cellular systems, but she's made significant contributions to the fields of wireless sensing in medicine, which have extraordinary potential for revolutionary impact for patients. This can help patients get more accurate, more timely, more precise, and more life-saving treatment if fully utilized and realized. Dina is the recipient of the prestigious MacArthur Fellowship. She's an elected member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, an elected member of both the US National Academy of Engineering and the US National Academy of Sciences, a uniquely gifted and creative individual who combines methodologies in innovative ways to bring about breath, breakthrough ideas and solutions. Dina Katabi is also a marvelous mentor who's taken students from AUB into her lab and helped them become outstanding scientists as well. So it's our pleasure on behalf of the university to welcome your classmate, Dina Katabi, the trailblazing pioneer in the field of wireless networks, to be your inspiration and your commencement speaker. Well, it's really hard to come after such amazing speeches. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, honorable guests, and of course, and most importantly, the unstoppable class of 2023. It is my greatest honor to be here today to deliver this speech. I should probably start by admitting that when I received the invitation to give this commencement speech, I panicked. But also, I felt profound happiness and pride. AUB always had a special place in my heart. I have so many friends, family members, students, colleagues who graduated from AUB. Although myself, I didn't pursue my studies here, yesterday I received an honorary doctorate degree from AUB. So, <laughs> so perhaps with a bit of stretch, I can now claim to be part of the alumni. <clears throat> Class of 2023, today it is your day. We are here to celebrate you, to celebrate your dedication, your hard work, the uh, sleep-deprived nights, the gallons of coffee consumed, the piles of problem sets solved, all of that, your journey. And as AUB is always going to be the place for you, and as you go stride into the world, and uh, I I want you to remember one thing. Your education here is your secret weapon. It prepared you to seize opportunity to tackle challenges and to achieve your potential and to excel at any pursuit that you want. I tell you this from experience. As a professor at MIT, I get to supervise PhD students who come from the best universities, both in the US and abroad. And I was so fortunate, <laughs> I was so fortunate to supervise two students from this place. Two students who completed their bachelor, bachelor's degrees at AUB, like yourself, Fadl Adib and Haysam Hassani. And given their performance, given what I saw with them, I can tell you that students from this university, they receive the best education. They are independent, innovative, uh, great researcher, 
able to tackle the hardest technical problem and succeed anywhere. Fadl and Haysam today are both professors, Fadl at professor at MIT and Haysam professor at EPFL. Every one of you possesses great potential and I trust that you will deliver on that potential. I wish you all a very successful career, but most importantly, I wish you to have a passion for whatever you do, because that passion is going to carry you through life. Whether your next step is to go to graduate school, to join the industry, or to start your own business, I wish that you do it with passion and you enjoy every single moment of it. For life is full of uncertainties and challenges, but if you are committed to your passion, you'll find your way. You'll always find your way. So this brings me to my own journey. I come from a family of medical doctors. I was destined to go to med school. And uh, I come from Syria, like Fadi. Uh, so in Syria, I, took, I completed my baccalaureate. And most of you probably know that baccalaureate is a national exam after which best students get matched to the best schools. So I went to med school. And I was the top of my batch, but also like Fadi, one day I decided to the shock of my parents and everyone who knew me to just drop med school and switch to electrical engineering because I couldn't imagine life without math. Wait, take it with a grain of salt, I was 18 at the time. So now I'm not sure whether that was a good decision, a bad decision, but it was definitely my decision. And I'm proud that at such a young age, I was able and determined to control my future. I always knew that I wanted to do research. So when I graduated, I applied for grad school in the United States and was admitted to MIT. I suspect the MIT admission committee knew nothing about Damascus University at the time, because if they knew anything, they would not have accepted me. But they accepted me. They decided to take a chance on me. So I'm grateful for that. MIT is a heaven for nerds. So I felt so much at home. I graduated from MIT with a PhD and I was immediately given a position as a faculty on, at MIT itself, which I accepted. Now, being a faculty at a top school is one of the best jobs in the world. You have the freedom, the ability to just continue innovative, innovating and thinking and doing whatever you like to do. And that's amazing for, for a career, like that's, that's your work, to just think and be curious, imagine. As in my job at MIT, I work with radio signals. So things like Wi-Fi, cellular, I'm sure all of you guys use them. So when I joined MIT at the beginning as faculty, I worked on improving Wi-Fi, increasing the speed of Wi-Fi, increasing the robustness. But very, very soon, I started feeling, wow, these radio signals, actually, they are not just useful for communication. You can use them to sense the space around us and to sense the people. Because if you think about it, radio signals travel in space, they traverse walls and occlusions, and they bounce off the human body because our bodies are made of water. So some of these reflections from people potentially behind walls and occlusions come back, and if you can analyze them, you can extract from them everything about those people that you don't see them. So you can start having something like x-ray vision. You can start by analyzing the radio signal, track people behind the wall, discover how they are moving, track their breathing, every single heartbeat. And this is exactly what we did in my lab at MIT. We invented a device that looks very much like your Wi-Fi box at home. It sits in the background and analyzes the radio signal that reflects of the environment and the people. And from that, can tell your breathing, your heartbeat. When you sleep, it knows that you are sleeping. When you are awake, it knows that. If you are dreaming, it knows that you are dreaming at that point in time. 
Our devices are now used with patients in many diseases, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, lupus, Crohn's, many, many diseases. And the data that are collected are helping medical uh, professionals as well as pharma pharmaceutical companies understand diseases and develop new drugs. So I started in medicine, and after a long journey, I came back to medicine. So now I'm so excited when I read medical literature, and I'm so excited about this intersection of medicine, AI, and radio signals. I truly think that the future of healthcare is data-driven. We are going to be able to track and monitor patients in their own homes, track the progression and evolution of their symptoms, analyze that data using machine learning to be able to detect exacerbations before they even happen, and intervene early and prevent hospitalization and ER visits. As I stand before you, the class of 2023, I can't help but reflect on your journey. It's a journey that's going to be filled with opportunities, with challenges, and most importantly, with potential. Potential that is embodied in each and every one of you. The world that you are about to enter is intriguing. Of course, there are so many challenges, from economic instabilities to political unrest, and of course, climate change. But also, there are many opportunities that come from the advancement in science and technology in medicine. And in these complex times, you are asked to navigate all of that complexity to extend and uh, go beyond your capabilities. And the experiences, the lessons that you learned here at AUB, the friendship that you formed, the knowledge that you gained, and everything, your full experience, these things are what's gonna guide you in your path toward your future. Each one of you, in your, own, in your unique way, you are going to make a difference in our world. And it's a meaningful difference that not only going to benefit you and the people closest to you, but it's going to benefit humanity as a whole. Congratulations, class of 2023. Your journey just beginning. I eagerly anticipate witnessing the great contributions that you are gonna bring to our world. I wish you all the best.